we're back here in the studio with Adrian from A Basin. <laughs> Hello. Always a pleasure. Thank you. She's thank still you. representing for St. Patrick's Day. I, <laughs> I am too. I got green pants on, so Perfect. we're good. So tell us, spring, today's the first day of spring. you got events going on always at A-Basin. What are Absolutely. the first spring events? Um, our first spring event is tomorrow. It's the first race on our Alpenglow Ascents Rando series. And, you know, Randonne, um style skiing and skinning have been really popular at A-Basin. In fact, we have two people who are actually spending their 100th day skinning this morning at oh, the basin. That's so exciting. It's so it's so awesome. Um, Kent and Doris, they're just amazing. And uh, yeah, we're hoping that people who are interested in split boarding or skinning will come out to uh, Alpen Glow Ascents tomorrow. Very cool. Now, also, you said that season passes go on sale tomorrow. Yes. So it's another great way to get out there. Absolutely. Tomorrow's a really big day for the basin. We'll be releasing all of our pricing and all of our pass options. Um, I can tease that we will have. Um, a version of the spring pass like we did last year, which will allow people to ski from tomorrow through the end of the season. Um, we'll be releasing our 14-15 season passes, and if those are paid in full, you can use them now and all of next season. Oh, wow. So you pretty much get like a season and a half almost. Yeah, because you guys are open pretty much until June, you said, right? Yep. June 1st is your tentative date? Yep, that's what we're looking at right now is June 1st. It's a little too early to make any predictions on extensions, but last year we did close on June 9th, so. so definitely past, you know, yes. the mid-April date that usually occurs, so. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, if you're a pass holder to another resort that may be closing on the 20th of next month, I think the spring pass is a really great way to keep skiing and riding in Colorado without really, uh, Breaking, breaking the, the bank, bank. Right. exactly. Definitely. <laughs> and you guys also have, I mean, great terrain. Tell yeah. us about your terrain. It's it's just been an incredible season. You know, we're we're just having not a record here, but a year that feels like normal. And mm -hmm. it's it's just been outstanding. The east wall terrain is is almost open every day now. It was closed for a couple days because of weather. So yesterday it was skiing awesome. Uh, patrols got a staircase in up the Willie's Wide hike to, which I know some people were waiting for, and another storm or two, and it's going to be really consistent. I mean. 100% open besides the east wall, and skiing's awesome. Yeah, and now it's spring, too. is not saying it's not the time to go to a basin any time of the year, but spring is even a greater time just because you guys have the beach, so you can oh. grill and tailgate. And it's, you know, it's just such a cool scene to have everyone around. You know, spring break just happened, and we're, we're it's actually still going on, and, and we've got a lot of people um, from different places there, some people experiencing the basin for the first time. I mean, there are people who've been coming um, to the basin for 25 years from other states, so it's kind of like seeing old friends again, mm -hmm. and it's really nice. I mean, that beach is full by the time I get to work in the morning. Six o'clock Saturday morning, it was pretty full. Yeah, <laughs> people are ready, man. I mean, it's it's been beautiful. The sun's been out. The skiing's been fantastic, and and I think uh, since it's staying late later, people are just really excited to be spending some time outside. Yeah, and it's definitely a favorite, I think, of everyone that's ever been to the Rockies. My yeah. uncle, I was telling you, you know, he's come in 80s and 90s, and A Basin is still the place that sticks yeah. out to him. Overall, too, the convenience, you have free parking. Yep. It's right there on the slopes. It's it's free parking. It's close, you know, to Denver in the Front Range. It's accessible to people in Summit County. We do allow uphill access before and after operating hours and on a designated route during, so people who want to come out and work out and skin have that option. You know, people can bring their grills. It's it's perfect for families. I mean, we're known for our steeps and our gnarly terrain and that east wall, but we've got an amazing ski school and a great beginner terrain, discounted beginner lift tickets. I think just amenities and and a feeling of um, sort of like a small town down home vibe that I think people feel really comfortable there and that's important. I agree and I think Six Alley Grill also shows that colorful history, all those photos and yes, all the facts. makes you really feel, you know, like what a ski, res not resort, but ski mountain is supposed to be yep. like. Yeah, and Six Alley's become my second home as of late. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time in there, you know, grabbing dinner every night and it's just been outstanding. Um, on St. Patrick's Day, Chris Ryback came up with bangers and mash and just did and his team did an amazing job prepping some special food for that last Monday and it's uh it's just a really great place to hang out great place to grab food after a day on the mountain it definitely is and it's also a great place not to break the bank either exactly it's very feasible and then you have the top level you could sit out there on the 
you know, deck and enjoy the sunshine as well. My mom hung, hung out there when my cousin was up skiing. She hung out on that perch all day in red. And it was, I don't know how she stood it, but with the, because the air was cold, but the sun was out. It makes it feel, you know, 20 degrees warmer. Exactly. In the sun, you know? So she was really thrilled about that. And yeah, you know, it's just a, a great place to be for the day, whether you're skiing or not. Yeah, I'm so excited for when my family comes to take them there because there's going to be, there's six of us, there's going to be one or two that aren't going to probably ride mm -hmm. or ski. So it'll yeah. be a great place for them just to hang out or they can hang out at the car too, free tailgate. Yep. <laughs> Overall, great place. Where can we find out more details? Uh, all of our details and all of our press pricing as of tomorrow will be on ArapahoeBasin.com. So be sure to check it out. Be one of the first to get that spring season pass. Thank you again for joining us. Thank Always you. a pleasure. We'll see you next week, I'm guessing. Absolutely. So head out to A Basin this week and we'll be back with more to come here on Summit Sunrise.